So guys, greetings from Houston, Texas. Mike coming at you from AT Astro Era of Truth Aspect and Relationship Astrology. And uh, today's awesome astrological segment, we'll be going over Venus and retrograde and uh, what we typically notice in individuals with this uh, rather unfortunate placement. So, about once every year and a half, for about 40 days or so, Venus goes backwards, or appears to go backwards, and it's uh, elliptical around the sun. And uh, about hmm, 7 to 10 percent of the population have a Venus retrograde in their natal chart. Uh, now, we can talk about Venus retrograde transit, but just like Mercury retrograde transit, I really could give a shit less how that really manifests. Uh, so, natives with uh, Venus retrograde, they uh, tend to internalize their love nature significantly. And it can create a litany of uh, issues for them, actually. It uh, tends to push them into uh, extremes. So uh, typically, and I actually am very close friends with somebody who has a natal Venus in retrograde. And uh, many times, uh, they can uh, wall in their emotions. So it's almost like they're, they're terrified to express their emotions and how they feel. Many times, it can be very closely related to uh, self-esteem issues, since Venus... Uh, is directly related to uh, your sense, not your sense of self in the sun sense, but just, you know, what makes you feel good about yourself. So you see uh, a lot of times people with uh, Venus retrograde, they uh, tend to uh, go after people that, I don't know how to put this nicely, uh, are ugly, uh, or people that are well beneath their standards. They're, I don't know, uh, like, you know, those... Uh, Crazy tatted up country dudes that live out in the uh, trailer park and they always, you know, they're usually decent looking, but they always got like the real, real fat wife with, you know, running around in a tube top and shit. Yeah, that's a Venus and retrograde manifestation. Also, you can see uh, extremes in terms of uh, money management. Uh, either they'll be extreme spendthrifts or they'll be like miserly cheap. There's also a... Uh, Ten, there tends to be a little bit of, bit of an issue of trying to buy people's affection and buy people's love. Uh, it's just because they, they tie a lot of their self-esteem up in, you know, their, their finances. They also, uh, and it's, it's very funny, is even though these people can uh, sometimes be very, very walled off, and uh, they honestly, sometimes they can, see very, they can seem very unemotional, depending on what sign it is. Uh, the particular uh, friend of mine that has that placement is uh, Venus Retrograde in Aquarius. And uh, he's actually very sensitive, very, very sensitive. He's just terrified to show it to anybody. Uh, they don't like to say, I love you. That's, no, they're, they're terrified of saying that. It's almost as if, like, deep down inside, they feel like if they say, I love you, that you're going to just run the fuck away. Um, also, if people with uh, Venus retrograde and fire signs, a lot of times they tend to uh, jump into relationships very quickly without even thinking. There's a tendency to evaluate and reevaluate and reevaluate and reevaluate because the, the love nature is just so internalized. Uh, also, you can see uh, people who serial date or people that actually either get married very, very young and the relationship just falls the fuck apart and they just keep making that same mistake for the first 40 years of their life. Or they don't get married until really, really, really late. Uh, so, like I said, there's always that huge extreme. It just depends on what sign it is. Um, however, those who do have Venus in retrograde have a reputation for finding their true love later on in life. And I could attribute that to progressions. If you check out the progress chart, since uh, Venus is in retrograde for roughly 40 days or so, if you look at the progressed, around the time that Venus starts to go direct in your progress chart, that's when the effects of Venus in retrograde seem to lessen up on you. So it could happen anywhere from a year after you're born to 40 years, you know, and you're about 40 years old. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I, I, I can love myself. And then, then people will love me. And that's just, you know, a common theme you seem to see with that placement. So I hope this was helpful. I do offer consultations. Just uh, feel free to get a hold of me. We'll work something out. Until next time, guys.